Hello, this is Arshadina from Team ERP. In today's session, we're going to show you how to set up an attendance system using the WordPress ERP module. So let's start. Once you have your WordPress ERP plugin installed, make sure you have the attendance module. You will find the link for this individual module in the description box below. When you have the attendance module installed, the HR section will look just like this. This is the site where people check in and check out to record their attendance. To set the attendance settings, navigate to the WordPress ERP dashboard, go to Settings, HR, and then click on Attendance. Configure the Grace Time, Threshold Time, Self-Attendance, IP Restriction, and Attendance Reminder. In case an employee forgets to check in, click on Save when you are done with your settings. Before we proceed further, let me talk about the grace period as well as the other settings. Grace before check-in refers to how early in minutes is a check-in acceptable for a person to check into the office. For example, if your office shift starts at 8 a.m. and an employee checks in at 7.55 a.m., this early check-in will be acceptable because the grace time before a check-in is set to 10 minutes. Grace after check-in refers to how late in minutes is it acceptable when a person checks in late to the office. For example, if office shift starts at 8 a.m. and an employee checks in at 8.09 a.m., this will be acceptable as a timely entry because the grace time is set to 10 minutes. Grace before checkout refers to how much time is acceptable in minutes when a person leaves the office early. For example, if the shift ends at 6 p.m. but a person checks out at 5.55 p.m., this will not be counted as an early leave due to the grace time before a checkout being set at 10 minutes. Grace after checkout refers to when overtime will be counted. So if a shift ends at 6 p.m. but an employee checks out at 6.05 p.m., this will not be counted as an overtime because grace time is set to 10 minutes. So overtime will start after 6.10 p.m. Self-attendance means an employee checks in manually by logging into the system and clicking on the check-in button. Enabling IP restriction means a person can check in or out only from one specific IP address. You can also whitelist IP addresses in the empty box below. Threshold between checkout and check-in will be explained later. Time to create shifts. This is mandatory. For any office hour range, you have to create a shift. Creating a shift is necessary to specify and assign office hours for the employees of your company. So be sure to set your employee list before you create shifts. Otherwise, your employees will not be able to check in or out. To create a shift, navigate to the WordPress ERP dashboard, then click on HR, Attendance, and then click on Shift. Now click on Add New. In the pop-up section, set shift name, start time, end time, and holidays for the shift. Then click on Save to create the shift. Now under Attendance, click on Assign Bulk Shift and then select employees who will be a part of this particular shift. Then click on Bulk Actions and choose the shift name from the drop-down list and click on Confirm. Go back to Shifts by clicking on the Attendance tab. Under the Action column, click on Generate for the shift you just created. Set the date for your shift and select employees who will be in this shift. Now click on Generate to confirm. Employees assigned to this shift will now be able to check in. Let me show you an example from an employee's perspective. When the duration of that shift ends, employees assigned to that shift will not be able to check in, so you have to generate that shift again. For example, the shift we just created was for the month of April. After April, a new shift for the month of March will have to be created to continue the entry of attendance. Within a shift duration, 
employees can check in and out multiple times. This is done by setting the threshold time, which allows one to check back in after a designated time. In this demonstration, a person can check back in exactly after two seconds. Go to settings, then HR, and select attendance to set the threshold time. As an admin, you can view the overall attendance of your employees. Click on HR, then click on More, and then on Attendance. Employees can also view their own attendance record. Simply click on HR, and then click on My Profile. Then click on the Attendance tab. Employees may forget to check out from the attendance system. The WordPress ERP gives you the authority to manually alter the employee's attendance record. So click on More, then click on Attendance, and then select Add New. Under Checkout, set the checkout time and mark the box under the Edit column. Then click on Save. You can also control all the employees at the same time by changing their status to Present or Absent and even change the time of their entry. And that's how you set up an attendance system. Remember, you can use the WordPress ERP module for managing business operations such as human resource activities, project management, customer relationship management, and even for accounting. So be sure to check out the WordPress ERP website for more information. Good luck!